Hi there, I just want to bring you a little um, quick look at this wireless keyboard that I just recently bought. Um, I bought it for $45, it was on sale. Um, it's a Logitech wireless solar keyboard K750. And you know, obviously the little special thing about this keyboard is that it has small solar voltaic panels on it and allows you to basically recharge the, the coin battery that's inside and it kind of like helps, you know, obviously having to rechange batteries all the time because one of the biggest things that we run into when it comes to keyboards, especially when using wireless keyboards, is having to replace the batteries on them because they've run out. Um, with this case, obviously it has some solar panels built in and helps kind of like mitigate that problem. So let's go ahead and have a, look, a quick look at it here. Uh, as you can see here, it's just some product description about it, a little different angles. And a quick video about it. It's a very thin and light keyboard. I will say that um, it's a very thin and light keyboard, and um, I like it for that reason. The keys are very, you know, they're a little bit shallow, but uh, they're very nice to type on. And you know, they they come in a full. Um, it's a full uh, layout keyboard. It's not a, a ten keyless or anything like that. It's full layout. Um, so let's go ahead and run through some of the um, specifications for this. Uh, you know keyboard here obviously it's light powered so um, good it says they're goodbye battery hassle solar power keeps you keyboard charged and ready even indoors it's a quick streamlined design as to say here comfortable typing it is very comfortable to type on I will say that um, I haven't really seen any much uh, um, stress in my hands when using the keyboard it's pr pretty light on the hands um, it does have this little really cool app if you're on Windows. Uh, basically, it allows you to see how much solar charge is left on the device. So it's pretty interesting how they do that. And since it's a Logitech device, you know they do use the unifying receivers. So if you already have one of those devices, you can just hook it up with this one and you're good to go. Um, so as it says here, six in one wireless receiver. You pop the tiny Logitech unifying receiver in your notebook and you leave it there. You can even add more devices to it. So that's a pretty interesting thing about this keyboard. So as here, I have my Logitech MX Master uh, 2X. So it's the original one, the, the MX Master. Um, and you know, I can just add it with the unifying receiver to this keyboard and they both work off the same little uh, dongle. So it's a light power keyboard. Obviously, the light comes into the little panels and you know helps charge up the little battery in there. So it's only a third of an inch thick. So it's again, it's really really thin. And you know, I'll, I'll be showing you some, some screenshots here. Um, and again, just it's very good on the hands. Uh, little things like that. Uh, plug and play simplicity. Yeah. So if you're on Windows or Mac, it's very easy. I'm using it on Linux right now, and it's very easy to use. It's just plug and play. It's good to go. Uh, obviously the support here uh, obviously doesn't show Windows, I mean Linux, but uh, it does work under Linux. I'm using it currently under Ubuntu 18.04, um, but it supports Windows XP, Vista, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, which is pretty interesting. Um, it doesn't have Mac support on here, but they do have a Mac version of this keyboard, which has the, um, you know, instead of the Windows key, it has the uh, command key for Mac, and it's in Mac layout. Uh, but yeah, you can get, you can get this, it's basically the same device, but obviously the layout is slightly different to better accommodate Mac users. So that's why you know Mac is not listed as something that supports. But I I I really think that if you just plug it into a Mac, it will still work. So yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick little update on this device. It's really interesting. It's a really cool device. It's very you know it's a very good device. I would recommend it for someone just looking for a quick little device to put to the desktop. You know maybe you're trying to replace an older keyboard. Um, maybe you need something that's you know light, you know very thin, and uh, kind of goes with the aesthetic of your of your desk setup as well. This here luckily goes very well with the desk setup that I have, and uh, obviously if you add the factor of that it's rechargeable through solar, um, it's pretty cool. As you see here behind me, I have this big window, so obviously I have plenty of sunlight coming into this room. Um, but obviously any ambient light also helps um, uh, basically charge it up again. So if you have it pretty close to your screen or any other ambient light around, it could help charge it up again. So it doesn't have to be in direct contact with sunlight to you know be able to charge itself. You know, it just needs some amount of light uh, source in there. And if you look at the app inside uh, the little solar app that they provide uh, to download, uh, it kind of gives you a better readings of uh, how good your solar um, capabilities are. Um, recharging abilities, I should say. But yeah, it's a cool little keyboard. It's the wireless uh, wireless solar keyboard K750 by Logitech. And um, again, if you guys are looking for a, a good keyboard just to pick up, it may be a little pricey for some of you. It's, it comes in at $60, um, but you know, I think it's one of those 
well worth purchases, um, especially for a keyboard. You know, use something that you're using a lot. Uh, you want to reduce uh, hand strain and RSI syndrome and all those kind of things. So um, just go ahead and uh, if you guys want to check it out, go ahead and go find it at the Logitech website. And yeah, I give, I give it my thumbs up to check it out, to look at it and uh, to buy it if you, if, you, if you like it. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit like on this video if you liked it. And go ahead and share it with anybody who may be looking for to buy a new keyboard or, you know, go ahead and like add it to your watch later list so you remember to maybe look at buying this keyboard. All right. See you guys later.